fraction to 1.35. This doesn't change much, so for the refract, I will use a fall off here again. And I think I'll flip these colors. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Let's leave this color to white for now. And let's set this one to almost black. Something like 10, 13, maybe, or 12 for each channel. Okay, I think we are pretty much done. So far, welcome to the fourth part of our tutorial series. Now that we have our lighting set up, we're going to create some nice materials. I will set its diffuse color to black. V-Ray IPR froze again, so let's stop it for now, and start it again to see the updated materials. Okay, so this is a black material. Let's set its reflection to white. Like this. And let's set its glossiness to 0.9, and apply this material to the cap. and to the nozzle as well. Let's restart viewport IPR again to see the updated changes. Let's create a material for the label now. I already have a label texture here, but this is a physical material which won't work well in V-Ray. So, I'm going to just copy the texture from here, and then go into another slot. Choose the V-Ray material by double-clicking it, and just paste the texture, as a copy, here. 
Apply this material to our label and let's tweak a few values here. Let's just go for the reflect, and we will set a fall off map here. Go to maps, general, fall off for the reflection slot. The perpendicular parallel is okay, viewer direction is also okay. But, I don't like these black and white values here, so let's tweak them for a bit. Let's say, this one will be something like 35, and this one not quite white, maybe 220. Okay, let's go up. And here, we will set its glossiness to 0.8 to blur the reflections a bit. Let's go move the camera a bit closer to see how much of the light this material reflects. It's okay, but I would like to have more reflections here. To do so, let's set the frame LIR to maybe 5. Oh, that's way too much. 2. Or, maybe, 3. Perhaps 2.5 is the magic number. Okay, right. That's fine. Now, let's select our bottle itself, and go to this slot. Press Get Material, V-Ray Material. Okay. I will make this a basic glass material first, so I'll change the diffuse color to black. The Reflect to almost white, and the refract color to almost white, as well. Let's apply this material to our bottle. Right now, it looks like a plain, dull glass, so, let's tweak this material. First of all, in the reflect slot, I'll put a fall off here as well. Again, with the dark value a little bit on the grayish side. Something like, 37 will do. And, the white, maybe not so white. Something like this, Let's give the glass some color first. I'll go to this fog color, and I will set a reddish value. Just let me tweak this value for a bit. Maybe, a little bit reddish here. Alright. And we also don't want any blue, set it to zero. Yes, this will do. Let's also set the fog bias, to 0.5. This will make the glass look a little bit thicker. Let's set the IOR, or index of refraction, to 1.35. This doesn't change much, so, for the refract, I will use a fall off here again. And, I think I'll flip these colors. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Let's leave this color to white for now and let's set this one to almost black. Something like 10. 13, maybe. Or, 12, for each channel. Okay. I think we are pretty much done. Let's maybe, make the glass a little bit more reflective, by changing the Fresnel IOR to, maybe, 2. Yes, nice reflections coming up here. Maybe, 2.5. That's it. So, I think we are done with our materials now. One thing I've noticed though. I think I would like to see some liquid in this bottle, so let's just fix that. Let's stop the V-Ray viewport IPR for now. Go to the front view, by pressing F, and then F3. I will just fake the bottle being filled with liquid, by adding just a tiny line here, to simulate where the liquid will end. So, I'm just holding Shift, to go straight. And then, go here. Let's drag a little bit. Alright. Let's make sure this vertex is set on zero here. Let's name this, liquid, and, add a late modifier. Alright, set its axis to zero on the X. Let's go to perspective view, and zoom in. Let's hide unselected. I will weld the core, and maybe, flip the normals. Right. Give it, something like, maybe, 80 segments. Okay. Now, for this liquid, 
I will just create a simple V-Ray material. It will be something like a water material. So, let's name this, water. Set this diffuse color to, maybe, a very faded blue, or greenish. Something like this. For the reflect, go for full white, and, for the refract, full white as well. Let's apply this material to our object. Let's unhide all. Go to camera view, and activate V-Ray viewport IPR again. Okay. The image looks burnt, because we're in the front view, not in the camera view. If we switch to camera view, by pressing C, our materials will look correct. So let's go here, and see if we can see our liquid. Yes, we can, but it's barely visible. So, let's set the refract a little bit darker, and, also, go to the front view here. Go to line, vertex, and raise this vertex for a bit, to give